right, Aaron and I are out fishing on the Ponderé River today with Craig Dowdy of Yank and Draw Guide Service. Craig, tell us a little bit about the Ponderé. Well, the Ponderé has really blossomed into a, an excellent pike fishery in the last probably five, six years. Um, it's getting a lot of recognition now uh, for the number of pike and for the quality of pike. So best time to come up here usually is any time from April to approximately the end of July. So it starts getting a little weedy then, but otherwise it's a, a good fishery most of the year. What kind of fish size uh, is available to anglers? Um, pretty much the average size that we've been getting lately are 24 to 30 inch fish. Um, it's a pretty common, there's lots of them. Uh, we're encouraging people to keep those fish, anything under the 25 inch, try to return the big ones and keep the small ones. Okay. And how do pike taste? They're pretty good to eating fish? Oh, they're excellent eating. As long as you can learn how to get the Y bone out, you're good to go on that. Tastes pretty consider or pretty much like walleye do. Great. And um, what would be a trophy fish on this river? A uh, trophy fish is anything in the double digits, so anything over 10 pounds. And do you know the largest size fish for a pike that's come out? Um, I know there was a 20, I think it was 28 pound, 40 something incher wow. that I know of. That's a big fish. <laughs> There's some big ones. All right. Well, let's uh, give it a go and see if we can't catch some of those big guys. Sounds good. All right. First pike of the day. We haven't been fishing for maybe five minutes. Not a huge guy, but here he comes. So Craig, I hear these are called hammerheads. These are called hammer handles. Hammer handles, okay. This is actually a hammer handle. This is what they call, this is what they're worried about overpopulating the river. Um, they're a sub 20 inch fish. So yeah, this is what they don't want. And these are what they're, they're encouraging everybody to keep. Yeah. Um, these are the perfect eating size and we'll definitely keep it for, for dinner. I can, uh, I can see that guy going to my smoker. The best thing to do is you want a fairly slow retrieve. You want the retrieve to be just low enough so it's about a foot under the water. So that way it stays on the top part of the water column. Um, if you go too fast, these spoons seem to flip all the way over and they don't seem to be as effective as they are if you, you reel it slow. So where we're at right now is called Indian Slough. Uh, we're halfway in between Delkina and Newport. Uh, we're fishing these sloughs right now for the most part, just for the reason that the water is a lot warmer in these sloughs. The fish tend to come up in here to spawn. Um, it's just a great, great spot. This is the reason why they flourish up here so much because they do have these sloughs in the warm backwater areas. First fish, my first pike, second fish of the day. Things are things are looking good up here on the river. That guy looks a little bigger. I think he's down in the grass. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, he's wound up. It's 
So Craig, it seems like the fish suddenly just started coming on. Yeah, it's either that or we're back in this, this water that's a lot warmer and it's grassier. So they may be pushing back in here since it's been fairly cold lately. That could be a possibility. They want to get warm. Pondere pike. And it seems like today those spoons have been the ticket, haven't they? It has been. There's something they like about the action on that spoon over anything else we've thrown. That's what you get when you come to the Pondere, though. That's about it. Average size. Nice size, fight, nice fighting fish. Nice Pondery River Pike. Uh, it's, uh, it's another hammer handle. <laughs> the last fish of the day slammed a white pearl jointed minnow that I cast towards a pier. This fish, although probably about 24 to 26 inches, hit a lot harder than you would have expected. Dinner. <laughs> These are the coolest looking fish. I cool? have to say, they look prehistoric. When they hit with aggression, they do. That this little guy really slammed that bait. So. Lots of them. Okay. Pondere River, Yank and Jaw Guide Service. Check them out. Aaron and I had a blast today fishing on the Pondere River with Craig Dowdy of Yank and Jaw Guide Service. If you want to try this unique fishery, give them a call. You'll be glad you did. Fish on. Oh.
Nope. That was a long distance release. Another, another eat. Yep. <laughs> Cookie cutters. That one was catch and release. Oh no, he just hung up in the grass. I'd like to see this one. Into that. Gone. 